Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. We are Saturday's God's Church of Love, and we are getting ready to deal with vision, nearsightedness versus farsightedness. And in the spirit realm, you want to be farsighted, not nearsighted. You want to be, you want that 2020 vision, but you want to be able to see far. And I'm going to tell you why. There is a scripture where God tells, it's just a quick word of exhortation. There's a scripture where God tells Abraham to look over in front of him, the land that God has before him. And he says this, as far as your eyes can see, as far as your eyes can see, imagine the word eyes being replaced with your imagination being replaced with your desires, being replaced with your goals, as far as your eyes can see, or the word see being replaced with believe, as far as you can believe, as far as your eyes can see, that have I given you. Hmm. And that's something to think about. So you can get a camera, and you can zoom in. I'll do an example of it on my camera later. But you can zoom in. You can take a far image, look down the street. And if you have a big magnifying zoom, from the distance with your natural eye, you can see the tree, the roof of the house, the house, the car parked in front of the house, and pretty much the road and all the little surrounding scenery. That's pretty much it. A little bit of sky. You can see all that. You might see a bird flying overhead. But then you take the same view and you look through the eyes of a magnifier. See, God is your magnifier. You look through the eyes of a magnifier and that little image that's way at the distance gets closer and closer gets bigger and bigger with more and more clarity. And now what's way off at a distance is totally focused, totally clear, up close and personal. And you notice, wow, I didn't know there were two birds sitting on the roof. I didn't realize there was a bird's nest on the edge of that branch. I didn't see that. I didn't see that part of the tree has a carving in it that some kids carved in it years ago. Wow, I didn't notice that the car sitting in front of the house had a big dent in the, in, in the door. I didn't see any of that when everything was far away. But now you've taken a vision that's so far away, you can't get much detail. And God has given you a zoom lens to draw that baby in so you can see everything that's in the picture. Everything that's in there, God is telling you, can be yours if you want it. Now, what I'm asking you is, how far can you see? How far away is your vision? How high do you look? Because, see, some of us are so nearsighted. All we see is the man in the mirror, with all its limitations, we see everything, all the obstacles that are all around us. We see all of the problems that we have to hurdle over. But we don't realize there's a big picture and it's way beyond us. It's way beyond our abilities. It's way beyond our intellect. It's way beyond us. There is no way in the natural we can accomplish A, B, and C. No way. But if we look through the eyes of God, that zoom lens, and we pull what's very far off up close, and we look and examine all the details that's in that, the, the frame, we'll realize there's a whole lot more going on than we saw in the first place. Now, 
we can see the possibilities we could not see before. I ask you, when you look down the road of your life, when you look towards your destiny, when you go to God and ask him about your calling, your election, things he wants to do in your life, things he wants to accomplish through you, ask God to give you that zoom lens, give you a close up and personal view of something so far away that you'll miss it if you don't look long enough prayerfully. Ask God to sharpen your vision. In Isaiah chapter 54, what does the Lord say? Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. Why? Because you're going to break out on the left and on the right. He's going to expand your coast. You've got to be able to see far, to go far. If you cannot see it, trust me, you cannot be it. You need to be able to see the possibility, not that you're all that in a bag of chips, but no matter who you are and who you're not, in God's hands, you can be president of the United States. In God's hands, you can be an, an ambassador for the nations. In God's hands, you can affect countries. In God's hands, you can be on the media reaching the world. In God's hands, you can do great exploits doing very small things. You can have a few drops of nitroglycerin and have a tremendous explosion. It's not the size of what you're doing. It's not the size of who you think you are or what your abilities are or not. It's what you can see, what you can believe God for. And I'm going to stop there because I'm getting excited and I want to make sure I'm staying within my boundaries. If God gives me anything else to add, I will. But right now, that's good enough for you to just ask God to broaden your sights, to teach you how to lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Remember, thank you, Lord. Remember when I told you that the Lord told me in a dream he was going to give me back my town car? He had to give me the dream in order for me to have a vision for it. Then he gave me a timing, a sense of timing. And at the end of last year, I told my friend, I believe I'm going to have my town car within January or the very beginning of February. I believed it. I could see it. Now, I didn't have the money for it. But did God not make it happen? Right. No way I could afford any kind of car, piece of a car. God made it happen. How far can you see? There's an old song. I'm looking for a miracle. I'm expecting the impossible. Hmm. And then it goes on to say, the sky is the limit for what I can do, do, do. You got to be able to see far to go far. See much to do much. And I ask you to go to God, to lengthen your sight, to broaden your vision, Strengthen your faith. You have no idea what God has in store for you. And as Isaiah says, I has not seen, neither ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for you. What does God have prepared for you? Reach for it, baby. Do everything you can to prepare it. When God showed me that I was going to get the car in January, 
I hurried up and sold the car that I had. Then after I sold the car I had, I had some guys come and clear out my garage because the car I was making room for is bigger than the car I got rid of. I was without a car for two weeks, but it wasn't long before the possibility came into view. Ah, there it is. God bless you.